Hello my dear viewers, welcome to my channel Agriculture with Samir once again and in this video we will be going to learn about one more crop which is known as the queen of cereals and that is maize and belongs to the family Poese and the scientific name Gia maize. So there are different varieties and different species of maize but here we will be reading about the growth stages of maize generally. This is one of the most important and demanded topic uh, for all the agriculture students to learn. So there are different growth stages of maize. So we'll be going through one by one what all these growth stages mean and how many days after the pollination or after the sowing of the seed these growth stages occur. So in this video you will have a complete detail about the growth stages of maize. So to know the complete details about the growth stages of maize keep watching this video till the end. So guys, maize we know is known as the queen of cereals. Okay, so the wild species of maize is teosinte. So what is this teosinte? This teosinte is also a, a species, a wild species, which has similar morphological characteristics and the similar chromosome number and the similar genetic constitution like maize. So remember this. So teosinte. Teosinte is the wild cultivar of maize. Okay, nothing else to remember. Teosinte is the wild cultivated species, uh, which uh, has similar characteristics, morphological characteristics like maize. So now we'll be going to the different growth stages. So we know generally now, if, as we are going to hybrids, it takes uh, nearly about 90 to 120 days to grow. But when we go, uh, when we are going for uh, traditional varieties, it used to take a long time to grow the crop. So as we are going for different hybrids, different hybrids have different growing stages or different growing time. The time period varies according to the hybrids. So on an average, we'll be going to uh, with the consideration of different types of hybrids developed by different companies and different research institutes. And we'll be seeing the different growth stages here. So generally, the vegetative stage of maize goes through nine stages, nine stages. Okay. So when the seed is sown in the field, and the growth of the plant goes through nine stages and it reaches the reproductive stage. Okay, so these vegetative stages are of nine types, and this vegetative stage starts from the seed sowing or the emergence of the seedling to the tesseling. Vegetative stage is from remember this vegetative stage. So vegetative stage is from seed seedling emergence seedling emergence to tesseling okay so remember this vegetative stage is from the seedling emergence to the tesseling stage and then comes the reproductive stage okay so before going to the reproductive stage we'll know the different types of or the different stages of vegetative stage so generally the vegetative stage here is uh, we can we have six stages as i said v1 sorry it's VE, first one is VE, then is V1, then is V2, then is V3. Similarly, it goes to the nine number of stages and the last stage is the vegetative tesseling stage. Okay, here you can write vegetative tesseling stage. This is the vegetative tesseling stage. And this is the vegetative emergence. What I have written here is, this is the seedling emergence stage. This is where the first collar, first leaf collar is formed, is formed, first leaf collar is formed. So what is this uh, collar? So collar you can see uh, if this is a maize plant, if this is a maize plant, okay, and the leaf arises from here, and if the leaf arises from here, so this portion it will be having a spot, the so spot where the leaf arises from the seed or the node is called as the collar point of the plant so you can see two to three leaves growing from the plant at the initial or the initial growth stages and this we call as the v1 stage similarly when the plant grows for some more days uh, the v2 stage occurs where we call it as the second leaf collar stage second leaf collar stage so in here you can find about five to six leaves so the number of leaves in a plant varies from uh, 18 to near about 22 sometimes in some varieties 
which has a good velocity to growth the more number of leaves grow in that plant so generally we can consider a 15 to 16 or 13 to 14 leaves per plant so now it is the v3 stage so in this v3 stage also we call it is the third leaf color where we can see near about eight number of eight number of leaves okay So guys, uh, coming to the VT. What is this VT? This is the tesseling stage. Tesseling stage. Tesseling stage. So what is this tesseling stage? Tesseling stage is where the male reproductive part or the male reproductive part grows in the maize crop that we call as the tessels. So tessels. Here tessels grow. Tessels grow. So it is the male reproductive, it is the male reproductive part of the maize plant. So here the tessels are called as the male reproductive part and here ends the vegetative stage of the maize crop. Okay. So here ends the vegetative stage of the maize crop and it generally takes about uh, 30 to 35 days or nearly 40 days to grow generally. And next coming to the reproductive stage. So what is this reproductive stage? Okay. So coming to the reproductive stage. So reproductive stage uh, occurs when the tessels after the tessels arise in the plant. So once the tessels grow or once the tessels are grown, now the reproductive stage starts. And this reproductive stage is of six types. Six types. Okay. And it is like R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, and R6. So what are these six stages? We have to know what are these six stages. Okay. So uh, why this uh, this take the maize plant takes six? Uh, why we have divided this reproductive part or reproductive stage of the maize crop into six stages? So there is a reason behind it. So R1. So in R1, what happens is, as we saw here, the tessels grow. So in R1, you can see the silk, silk grows, silk from husk. Okay. So you can see generally in the middle part of the plant, in the middle part of the plant, we can see certain silks. These will be like silk. Uh, as long as near about 45 cm, it can grow silks. They are very smooth particles or uh, we can call it as the female reproductive female reproductive part okay female reproductive part so silk is the female reproductive part of the plant so this is how the wind uh, wind pollination occurs in maize plant so after a certain stage when the tessels grow and the seals come up these tessels with the action of the wind uh, fall on the silk and the cob get a uh, gross top gross in the maize plant so this is the product process where the reproduction stage of the crop or the maize crop starts so r2 what is this r2 r2 we call it as the blister blister stage of kernel blister stage of kernel so what is this blister stage of kernel so blister stage of kernel is the white part or a white liquid is formed inside the kernel white liquid is formed inside the candle okay in this blister stage of candle the white liquid so we'll be discussing about blister stage and all other the six stages here so blister what is this blister stage okay r2 is the blister stage so here what happens remember this by simple points like white kernel okay and white fluid okay white kernel and white fluid so what is this white kernel so you can see the after the crops uh, grow after the pollination generally the white uh, kernels are formed the kernels or the seeds kernel is nothing but the seed so these seeds uh, we can see white seeds inside the cobs and these cobs contain some liquid if you press it and if you squeeze it you can see some white fluid so this you can say that this is in the r2 stage or the second reproductive stage of the plant or we can say that second stage of the reproductive process complete process of the maize plant 
and what is this r3 r3 stage is r3 stage r3 stage is uh, the okay r3 stage is the milk okay milk stage milk stage of kernel so what is what do you mean by milk stage of kernel so as we talked here the white fluid so this white fluid it uh, grows the amount of white fluid inside the uh, kernel or inside the seed grows in this r3 stage but the kernels become slightly yellow yellow kernels or seeds okay and similar the white fluid stays inside the each kernel okay white fluid stays and the but the kernels become yellow in the r3 stage okay this is the r3 stage coming to the r4 stage so this is the duff stage duff stage so what is this duff stage of kernel so duff stage of kernel is this white fluid the can the now the seeds remain yellow now the seeds in the are uh, yellow seeds okay but in duff stage this white fluid becomes thick thick paste of white fluid thick paste of white fluid so this thick fluid this fluid white fluid becomes a little bit thick inside the seeds okay now coming to the r5 stage this you can call it the dent stage okay so why it is called as a dense stage dense stage is a dent is formed this due to we can say that the plant has attained the maximum dry weight at this stage r5 stage because the dent because this white fluid turns into a sticky layer into a sticky layer okay so in r5 dent is formed dent corn what we consume regularly dent is formed over the over the seed coming to the r6 this is the okay r6 r6 is the reproductive final final reproductive stage or maturity stage we call it as the physiological maturity stage okay so this is the physiological maturity or the maturity stage of the crop so r6 is the maturity stage of the crop so r6 okay guys these are the reproductive stages of the crop there are six reproductive stages let me mention here six reproductive stages okay maturity this is the final where we can now harvest the crop so these six stages are most important to remember and these are the vegetative stages and the reproductive stages that you need to import it so there are generally nine vegetative stages and six reproductive stages that the maize plant grows through to grow into your plant so generally it takes different durations 90 to 90 days 100 days 110 days 120 days 60 days 70 days based on the capability and the ability of the variety to grow more by getting more amount of nutrients and according to the environmental conditions the reproductive stages and vegetative stages may vary in different hybrids so this is all about the reproductive stage and the vegetative stage and the growth stage, complete growth stage of maize crop. So now there will be doubt like once the pollination occurs. So once the pollination occurs, that is, that is once the tessels grow, okay, VT stage, okay. Next comes the R1 stage where the silks grow. So now pollination occurs. Pollination. Okay wind pollination generally wind pollination is uh, happens in the maize crop so after this pollination it takes certain days it takes certain days to these reproductive uh, stages to occur so once the pollination occur there will be a doubt in your mind that after how many days will these reproductive stages occur so you watch this video here i am going to present so here i am going to present about the different uh, time or the different days or the number of days that uh, the plant takes from the reproductive from the after the tesling and silt formation or after the pollination to go through the certain re reproductive stages or reproductive phases in, it, in its complete life cycle so after uh, here you can see that okay so after the uh, uh, cross pollination or the pollination of the tessels with the silk 
the r1 stays it takes about uh, near about 9 to 11 days 9 days nearly for the r1 stays to occur and it takes about uh, near about uh, 13 days okay 13 days so now you can see that the reproduce stages that occur and the days after pollination so here are the days of pollination after which the certain reproduce stages occur so once the pollination is completed so after how many days does the uh, reproduce stages occur here it is the complete list of the reproduce stages and the days number number of days after pollination that the least reproduce days that occur in the maze so guys thank you for watching my video with patience keep liking sharing and learning and subscribe to my channel I keep sending my videos. Thank you.